Imagine you were just notified that you are the beneficiary of a $10 million IRA from an old friend of yours that you hadn't seen in 30 years. Well, sometimes inheritances come out of nowhere and sometimes they are planned, but many IRA assets eventually transfer to a non-spouse. Now, when you inherit an IRA, special rules kick in because inherited IRAs are not like your own personal IRA account. So make sure you know what you can and cannot do to help you I've put together seven rules about an inherited IRA that might surprise you. But before I reveal these seven rules, this is a great spot to point out the important disclosures. The information in this video is for educational purposes. This is not specific financial planning, health insurance, or investment advice. In addition, everyone's tax situation is different. You should discuss your tax situation with a qualified tax advisor before implementing any planning strategy. All right, here we go. Seven rules that you should know if you inherited an IRA. Number one, you cannot contribute to your inherited IRA. The balance that you receive must remain separate from any other IRAs that you own. Don't forget this because inherited IRAs have a different set of rules. Number two, you cannot convert your inherited IRA. Now many times non-spouse beneficiaries are interested in having a Roth IRA. Unfortunately, the rules do not allow non-spouse IRA beneficiaries to convert inherited IRAs into Roth IRAs, so don't think about it. Number three, you can move that inherited IRA if you like. So if you're unhappy with the investment choices or the custodian holding your new inherited IRA, you can move it to another custodian and you can select different investment options or work with a different advisor. However, you must move the account by direct transfer and the new account must also be an inherited IRA. Unlike a traditional IRA, you cannot take a distribution and then roll it over within 60 days. All right, number four, they are QCD eligible. So if you want to contribute funds to a charity, you may be able to take advantage of a qualified charitable distribution and move up to $100,000 of your IRA funds annually directly to the charity of your choice in a tax-free transfer. And the contribution can cover your mandatory distribution or your RMD. But to do a QCD, you must be 70 and a half or older. Number five, you must distribute the funds within 10 years and you may have annual required distributions up until that point. You can't keep the funds in your IRA forever. If you inherited the IRA fund in 2020 or later, as a non-spouse beneficiary, you will most likely be subject to a 10-year payout period and possibly annual RMDs during the 10-year period. You want to work with your tax advisor to determine the most tax-efficient way to distribute the funds. But if you inherited a raw Roth IRA, you can wait all the way until the 10th year to distribute the funds if you like because they're tax free. Number six, your distributions may be taxable, but there will be no penalty. Inherited IRAs are never subject to the 10% early distribution penalty no matter what your age is. However, if you inherit a traditional IRA, it is likely that the distributions you take will be taxable. Now, if you inherit a Roth IRA, you are more fortunate from a tax perspective. Distributions from an inherited Roth IRA will most likely be tax-free. It's important to remember that you cannot combine required distributions. So any required distributions from the inherited IRA must be taken from that account. Any required distributions that you have from other IRAs must be taken from those accounts. Don't combine them. Number seven, you should name a successor beneficiary. When you inherit an IRA, it makes sense to name a beneficiary, but sometimes people just forget. If you don't, the default provisions in the IRA documents are likely to apply. In many cases, this would mean the funds would go to your estate, which can mean more taxes and the time and the expense of probate. It's an easy fix by just adding a beneficiary, so make sure you get that 
that done. Now tax planning and tax savings ultimately are about understanding where choices can be made in the tax code. If you inherited an IRA, it's important to understand your choices and how each decision can impact your short-term and your long-term tax situation. So map out the next 10 years to determine if there will be years where it may make more sense to take inherited IRA distributions versus others. If you wait until year 10 to take your full mandatory distribution, you may be compliant, but you may get destroyed by the tax man by taking the entire distribution in one year. And if you're looking for more ways to create tax-free income, watch this video next to create a 100% tax-free income during retirement.